Financial constraints have often truncated efforts of some indigent students to acquire quality education in life, thereby depriving the nation huge potentials in human and capital development. To this end, the House of Representatives has commenced a public hearing through its Committee on Education and Services to amend those aspects of the law that impede educational advancement in the country. This was emphasized by the chairman of the committee and the representative of the speaker while declaring the hearing open. We therefore believe that democratic norms must also be employed in the bill processing to ensure public input and acceptance. Hence, this public hearing. Tertiary education, which had been faced with serious problems, needs, I mean, needs constant amendment or, of existing obsolete laws and enactment of new ones for better repositioning and contribution to national development. The city bills before you today for discussion thick way of improving the tertiary education in the nation by identifying issues at stake and proposing the need the three bills are as follows. One, a bill for an act to provide for EV access to higher education for Nigerians through interest free loans for Nigerian banks in the act with a view to providing education for all Nigerians and for related matters. Two, a bill for an act to amend the tertiary education trust fund and education tasks cap E for laws of the Federation of Nigeria 2004 and the Education Tax Force Amendment Number 17 of 2004 and establish the Tertiary Education Trust Fund charged with responsibility for imposing, managing and disposing the Education Tax Fund to public tertiary institutions in Nigeria. These may include, if approved, our private universities and a bill for an act to amend the Tertiary Education Trust Fund and Education Tax Cap of the Federation 2004 to include colleges of agriculture. The leader of the House, who is also one of the sponsors of the bill, says the need to support indigent students to access to interest-free loans will be of great advantage. Are indigent students who ordinarily, many of them are also very clever and very brilliant. And unfortunately, they are unable to go to school because uh, their parents, the station of their parents in life, they are unable to, to pay their school fees. I, for one, and, I, and this committee and the House believe that education is, is, is not supposed to be a privilege, it's meant to be a right. Other bills for considerations are bills to abolish and prohibit dichotomy and discrimination between first degree and the higher national diploma, and also the amendment to tertiary education tax fund which will also include private universities and colleges of agriculture. Stakeholders were drawn from the academia and the labor unions. Emmanuel Ehijine, PTV News.